Hey everyone, Miss Jamie here. Stopping by to talk about our letter of the week. We're working on the letter N one more week. And then next week we get to review all of the letters we've done so far. So the letter N, remember we start here at the top and we go down and we hit a bump and we jump back up like a frog. Slide down the slide. And then we climb back up the ladder to do it all again. So we go. Start at the top, go down, bump, jump back up to the top, slide down, and climb the ladder. So that's the letter N. No one in our class starts with the letter N, but some of us have this letter in our name, N. And last week I showed you some things that start with the letter N. We have a notebook. Notebooks can look all different. Here's one. This one has a lock on it. This one's Addie's, but you can open it and you can write in it. So the notebook is for writing. Oh, this one is a music note. When people play music, this tells you what note to play. Oh, and this baby is taking a nap. I wish I could take a nap. Up oh, in here, this girl has a necklace on. Girls and boys can wear a necklace. Here's Miss Jamie's necklace. And remember it goes around your neck, which I gotta undo right now, but your neck starts with an N too. So necklace. Oh, and here's a nest. We talked about how Miss Mel had one of these on her front door. Miss Jamie has about three on her back porch. Nest. The birds like to lay their eggs in there. Oh, and this one is a needle for sewing. And I have some needles. You can see here, they're all different shapes and sizes. You can put it down like that. And they're all different shapes and sizes. And they're for making things. Put your thread through there and sew something up. Oh, and here's a nail. You use these to pound things wood together or pound things into wood. And there's metal nails, all different kinds of nails. We've been finding these around the house a lot since we're doing the roof. Oh, and we all have one of these nose. Honk your nose, honk, honk. Really don't do it, we're not supposed to touch our face. <laughs> but nose, nose helps you smell, helps you breathe in and out of your nose. And everybody's noses are different shapes and sizes. Christian's over here laughing at me. And these are nuts. You can crack these open and eat them. Or sometimes we feel a little nuts. Like I said last week, I think we all feel nuts being stuck inside. But it's for our own safety, huh? Nuts. Oh, and when we go to bed, it becomes nighttime. Nighttime. Gets dark. Oh, and we have one of these in our class. She's a nurse, Miss Heather. When you go to the doctor, you might visit your nurse too, might be there and ask questions to mama and daddy. Nurse. And my last picture is a net. There's actually different kinds of nets. This one's for catching bugs or catching fish. But you can also have a soccer net. You can get the ball in here or a basketball net, shoot the basketball in there. So lots of different, there's different kinds of nets. There's butterfly nets, okay? So those are some of the things that start with the letter N. So if mom and dad could find pictures, maybe in magazines and cut them out, or if they can find pictures online and make copies of them, or even draw them. If mom and dad are really good draws, you can hang these around the house and find them. Find things that start with the letter N. And to get a little tricky, since it's the second week we've been working on it, you can mix up different pictures. Maybe pictures that start with an L or an E, and you can put them on there, on the walls or on doors, and you could find them. Go for a walk in the house and find them, or wheel around and find them. Maybe they're up high, maybe they're down low, we don't know. All right, next one is look through some books. I had to look, N's kind of a hard one to find, so I had to look through different books, but here is a nurse. She's in this book. Nurse, the bunny's at the doctor's and the nurse is saying, good job. 
This book is very old. It's from when Miss Jamie was a little girl. And in here, Froggy's playing soccer and he's kicking it into the net. Net. Soccer net. Well, in this one we had last week, this guy's called a narwhal. He lives in the ocean. The narwhal. Mm. And this bird in my book is sitting on a nest. Nest. So there's some ways to find ends looking through books. All right, just like if you watch on if you watch the number five video first, you would have seen this. If you haven't, you're seeing it for the first time. So, this one you need is a white crayon, white crayon, and just a blank piece of paper. And I'm gonna move you down here, and you can just make that in. Remember, start at the top, go down, bump back up, slide down, and climb the ladder back. And then I need watercolors. So I need a little bit of water and a paintbrush. They give you a thin paintbrush. If you have a thicker one, it works a little easier. So like this. I'm gonna do it red today. I'm gonna red, and I can just go up and down. And if you want, you can hide ends all over the paper, different sizes. You can do you know, big ends, little ends. I think I need more water. And I just color it. And when it dries, you can see that there, you can see the end from the white crayon. Yeah. So you can practice down, bump, big jump up, ribbit, slide down, and climb back up the ladder. All right, so you can do that way. You can practice making ends on your paper. Okay, down, jump up, slide down and up. A lot of the kiddos are gonna need hands over hand for this one and that's okay. You can also take your pointer finger and practice down, jump up, slide down and climb the ladder. You could also put different letters on here that we've maybe talked about. Where's the, I don't know if you can see that, it's hard to tell them right. Where's the end? Can you find the end? and you'd want them to point to the end. So you can just practice making ends any way you want. You can practice putting pom-poms on the end. You can practice with your Play-Doh. You can practice in your rocks, your salt, your Cool Whip, whatever, your flour, whatever you have. Just practice, practice, practice. So that's what I have for end this week. I'll see you later, bye.